Well, it has been quite the journey for one of my favorite people of all time, Mr. Steve Wilco. Seven years in the Marines, 12 years with the Chicago Police Department, several years as a bodyguard on the Jerry Springer Show, and now he is on the 15th season of the Steve Wilco Show, where he's sharing real stories from real people. What exactly did he do? He, he opened the uh, bathroom door and so all the smoke came in and I'm like, where's all this smoke coming from? So, and I went, when I went out, I said, oh no, we gotta get out of here. You believe that if he didn't open that door and that smoke didn't come in, if he didn't do it then, by the time you would have realized, it might have been too late for you. Exactly. You know what's gonna happen after and that, that is so. just one story of survival with a happy ending. There's a lot more happening this season, and here with all the deets is Mr. Steve Wilco! Good morning. How you doing, RG? You know, just chilling. Happy that you're here with yeah. us this morning. Yeah. How was your weekend? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was boring, but, you know, boring is good. Not true. I don't <laughs> believe you. Nothing about your life is boring. First of all, you know what? Truth, no, I want to say, <clears throat> you know, before the pandemic, me and my wife would go to dinner on the weekends, we'd mm -hmm. go to our club, we'd dress up, and now we're lazy and we got so uh, became homebodies because of the pandemic that we really don't go out anywhere. We're just we stay at home. So yeah, it, it truthfully is boring. Well, you say boring, I say it's amazing because first of all, 15 seasons of your show, Steve. Do you remember when we came there for the first season when you were riding the bike in the in the parking lot? 15. Yeah. Oh my God. That, that, you know, in TV, 15 years is like a thousand years in any other life, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, most people don't get to 15 years, but yeah, at the time, uh, when you look back, like when, you know, we started the show in Chicago and, you know, now we've been out in uh, Stanford, Connecticut for the past 12 years. Um, but it's great to make 15 seasons. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of shows don't make it that far. And, and, you know, I say all the time in the past that most people didn't give me a chance. And it, back then it was 13 weeks. You had to make it past 13 weeks mm -hmm. to get picked up for a second season. And people were laughing, saying I, I wasn't going to make it the 13 weeks. So to be sitting here talking to you in uh, my 15th season, uh, it's, you know, I feel great about it. Oh, we do too. And we also love the fact that you have this new series called Steve Survivor. So tell us more about it and the stories you're going to be sharing with us. Well, you know, it, it, it's kind of just like an offshoot. It, it evolves from before we, we went into the true crime uh, stories. And then now we're doing uh, Steve Survivors, we're calling them. And it's just people that um, have survived really uh, horrific conditions or situations. Uh, you know, you showed the clip with the uh, the dog saving the people's lives and getting out from a fire. And we've done uh, some numerous stories about uh, it was men that were falsely convicted of crimes and uh, spent 15, 20 years in prison. But uh, these guys went, one guy went to the law library every day and studied and filed appeal after appeal, appealing and got out of jail. And another guy got into art while he was in there. And, mm. His art got him uh, noticed by somebody and then a law school students took up his case and he got out of jail after about 25 years. You know, because me, I think like if that happened to me and I was convicted of a crime that I was innocent of, probably crawl into a ball and yeah. die, you know, yeah. but these guys really did everything they could. And, uh, you know, you think if, you know, being in prison for 15, 20 years, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of motivation would go out of you, but these guys they fought through it. So I think some of these stories that we're covering with Steve Survivors are uh, just incredible and the perseverance and uh, determination uh, to be free. I tell you, uh, it's it's always special to see you know stories like that, and it's inspiring. And I feel like. I'm in heaven because I said you're one of my favorite people of all time. And then I hear that my other favorite person of all time surprised you, Judge Jerry. And then you two are also going to be guest hosting the Wendy Williams show. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to be uh, doing the live show on Thursday and then we're taping Friday's show also on Thursday. But, you know, somebody said it to me and I didn't even realize it. Me and Jerry haven't shared a stage in... 16 years. Wow. Uh, so, and I, when that, when somebody said that to me, 
it, it just hit me because I, it just felt like I've worked with Jerry my whole life, but we haven't shared a, a, a stage together probably since 2006, so it's about 15 years. But uh, we, you know, every day I would come to work and I'd work with Jerry on the Jerry Springer show and, and we haven't been together that long. But so I'm super excited and I love Wendy Williams and, you know, wishing her the best uh, while she recovers. And I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun because, as you know, my show can be very serious at mm -hmm. times and uh, dealing with, you know, some people that uh, aren't the easiest. But, you know, Wendy's a totally different show, and I, I, I think me and Jerry are going to have a lot of fun with it. Oh, well, we're going to have fun watching it. You know <laughs> we'll be there, as always, because we love the two of you. Steve, always great to see you. Say hi to Mrs. Wilkos for me. Everyone at home, you can check out new episodes of the Steve Wilco Show weekdays at noon right here on Fix 11. You also owe me golfing out, and don't forget... We're going yeah, golfing. So let's do it. Let's okay, do I did not forget. Sure. Don't think I forgot. All right. Oh. See you, Steve. Okay. Dan and Bye. Hazel. Thanks, OG. Very cool.